As a complete newcomer to 3D printing, I recently embarked on my adventure with the Coconi EC2, a small and stylish printer that captured my attention with its modern, minimalist design and plug-and-play promise. This 3D printer was kindly gifted to me by the Coconi. The Coconi EC2 lights up to its sleek look. Its white cubic shape and modern lights will fit perfectly into my craft room without sacrificing space. While the printing area is smaller than some printers, I knew this beforehand and have several smaller projects in mind that seems ideal for its capability. Compared to similar options online, the EC2 stands out with its built-in camera and onboard AI features. My Coconi EC2 came with one white PLA filament, which was already attached to the printer. Other things included in the packaging are power cable and tweezers. At the back of the printer you can see the filament cartridge, power button and socket for the cable. As far as I know, you can use other brands of filaments for this printer. Coconi also provides a variety of colors on their website, plus 3 printed projects can be painted. The accompanying app offered clear step-by-step -step instruction with helpful pictures making the setup process mostly smooth. However, I encountered a hurdle when connecting to my mobile hotspot, which is my only internet option at home. This was disadvantage for me as it took additional time to resolve the issue with customer service. Thankfully, the recent software update and assistance from the customer service team fixed the problem. The included app also seems user-friendly, boasting a library of pre-designed models and various customization options. Speaking of projects, I've decided to kick things off with a practical and useful item, a soap dish. It's something I can use every day and its smaller size seems perfect for the EC2's printing area. This project contains of two parts. You can check how long uh, roughly it will take to print each part. You can also adjust the size of your item. I want it to be as big as it can be, so I leave it the setting as they are. At first, I wasn't sure if I can open the doors, but I've checked that and that's absolutely fine. One thing that surprised me was the noise level. I could describe it as a sounding like a sea. That definitely makes it tolerable even for longer printing sessions. The estimated time for the first part of my soap dish was 4 hours. I think that is a very long time. I know I could pick up something smaller for the first time, but I really wanted the dish. I can't compare the printing time to other 3D printers. I keep in mind that this printer is for home use, crafts and small projects. I was just worried to leave it unattended for such a long time. There is an option for pausing your project, uh, which I think is very helpful. Also, the built-in camera is allowing you to have a look at your printer from your phone. Once the first part was complete, I watched the video uh, to learn how to remove the project correctly. The dish came out really good, there is only one part which I will have to cut out.
Then I printed the second part of my soap dish. As my second project and to test out this printer even more, I decided to print the foot clip. It's made uh, out of one part, so I wanted to see how the printer will manage to create something which will have to move. Apart from the printing duration, App will also tell you how much of the filament this project will take. Moving back to my soap dish, the honeycomb part looks good and doesn't need any fixing. I'm very impressed with this one. Unfortunately, the main dish had some error. There is additional part which shouldn't be printed. I'm not sure what was the problem. I took the knife and cut it off, which was an ideal situation. I was expecting better finish. When it comes to the uh, clipper, at first it didn't even want to close. There were a few parts in between which I had to remove, but that's fine. I could easily do it with the tweezers. This is, I think, more acceptable. Now the clip works and I'm very impressed with it. As a newbie, the Coconi EC2 took me on a smooth 3D printing adventure. Setup was paintless apart from connecting it to my hotspot. The quiet printing and lack of heat were unexpected bonuses. Shoe, the size is small and some projects need tweaks, but for crafters and beginners like me, it's perfect. From personalized homeware to future dollhouse furniture, the creative possibilities are endless. If you have any more questions about this printer, ask them in the comment section and if I can, I will be more than happy to answer. For more information, check out the Coconut website, link to it down below. Thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video.